Hey, and welcome to Car Rides in the Car with Dr. Ince. Uh, today is Random Topic uh, Fridays. I uh, hope you guys are doing great. Had a great week. Big things today, uh, pooping. Pooping is very important. Um, we should probably go every day or two. Uh, a poop a day keeps the doctor away. I had a patient just yesterday said his pooping completely got fixed uh, after adopting a more of a plant-based diet so foods like fruits vegetables beans grains they they have a lot of fiber in them uh, and the fiber and other things the water content in the foods it helps us poop and essentially if you break it down all animal products don't have any fiber so cheese um, of course bacon chicken uh, steaks, um, the filet mignons. Um, there's no fiber in any of these animal products, and the fruits, the the beans, the vegetables, loaded with fiber, and oatmeal. Um, the average American gets, I think, it's like half of what they should get on their daily value of fiber. And really, what we should do is when we go on a plant-based diet, we're really getting probably 40 50 plus grams of fiber and you're going to notice huge changes in IBS it can get better actually uh, people think it's counter but it actually had an IBS patient too just last week that said their irritable bowel syndrome uh, got a lot better and so and I would say worth a try uh, ease into the beans uh, the gut bacteria does change and it it gets more conducive to to handling those beans uh, whenever you do it for a while so the gut bacteria can change and it will actually change on a positive note as you get rid of animal uh, proteins and animal products uh, you produce less TMAO which is an inflammatory molecule associated with more uh, cardiovascular disease and inflammation and so big things about uh, pooping though uh, sometimes to get things going, assuming you don't have any kidney problems, um, a bottle of magnesium citrate over the counter can really help flush things. Uh, a little bit of daily Miralax is, is reasonable, but really it's best to treat things naturally uh, and try to knock it out that way. And so I still say colon cancer screening is important if you are having constipation. Uh, it's always good to get screened for everybody. if. The blanket statement is usually 45 years and up. If you have a family uh, relative that's, that had colon cancer, you usually do 10 years before the cancer was found or diagnosed. So say if your dad had died from colon cancer at 55, well, you would start screening at least by 45 or 40. Um, if, if diagnosed at 70, then you'd start at the regular, which is 45 to 50. And the Cologuard is one of my other favorite uh, colon cancer screening tests. It's every three years generally. It has a sensitivity to pick up colon cancer, about just as effective as, as a colonoscopy. Um, a lot of these fecal uh, blood tests to look for poop, for blood in the poop, those will miss about half cancer, half of the cancers. So I don't, don't usually recommend those for sure. I recommend the colonoscopy, which if you start at, you know, 45 or 50 and it's normal, uh, the GI doctors will usually give you about a 10 year warranty, which is nice. And so basically if they find polyps and stuff, it's usually a three to five year type of warranty, so to speak. But basically, yeah, I think, um, colon cancer is one of the, I think that's like a third killer of cancer related death. And it, it's preventable. I mean, you, most of them, at least you can, you can catch the cancer before it spreads. Um, and so, yeah, I, I think, screen for colon cancer is a huge wise thing to do so you don't die from colon cancer at 55 or 60 and you could have lived to be 90 to 100 and have been there for your family your, you know your wife your kids your grandkids your great grandkids so um yeah it's just a good good thing to do um, and with all the inflammation with our diets smoking uh, what is it um, of course, the processed meats uh, associated with more colon cancer. They say uh, like bacon, uh, processed, you know, lunchable meat, 
all that stuff is really kind of crazy. It's like a class two carcinogen, and uh, the World Health Organization is is saying it's um, on par with like secondhand smoke. Uh, so it definitely sh- shoots up the rate of cancer. Um, unfortunately, we give this stuff to our kids all the time. Like, here you go. You want some uh, class two carcinogen, uh, secondhand smoke, and they eat it up. Um, it's kind of culture. It's kind of a habit. So, and we don't want to look silly in front of other people. So it becomes like a, what is the word? Like, um, I guess it's kind of fitting in, so to speak. Like, so basically, when someone gives you that hot dog, just really just, just throw it on the ground. Just joking. But okay, guys. Um, uh, have a great weekend and um, stay healthy. As you get healthier, you get happier. And here. Here to help you keep growing, and but if you have any health topics you want to talk about, let me know. Hey guys, thank you so much for tuning in. We're now one of the fastest growing YouTube channels, 128 subscribers, around 150 subscribers. My amazing mother is coming on. Our channel is about health and wellness, and so she is skilled in nutrition and psychology, therapy, licensed therapist, so she's going to give us some good tips. And um, thank you so much for watching. You guys go eat whole food, plant-based. Don't count any calories. Get rid of the oil, which is only found in processed foods. Also check out uh, Caldwell Esselstyn. He worked with Samuel L. Jackson to reverse cardiac blockages, our number one killer. Only diet that's been shown to do that. Reverse our number one killer. So keep eating healthy, and y'all take care. Bye-bye.